What's up filmmakers, I'm Caden from Render Effects, and this is how to do the super punch in Final Cut Pro. Let's jump into this effect. Filming on a tripod, you will need three shots. First, a shot of the action with your subject punching your victim with their super punch. Second, you'll need a shot of the victim falling down and reacting to the punch. And third, you'll need a clean plate with no subject in it at all, just a video of the still environment. Make sure you're filming on manual exposure and focus and keeping a continuous shot throughout the entire take so that nothing is changing, moving during the shot. Now, let's get into the edit. First, we'll select the clips we want using I and O and drop them into the timeline with E. Next, we'll grab our clean plate, drop that in at the end, go to the first frame of the clean plate, and hit Option F to create a freeze frame. We're gonna take this freeze frame and drag it underneath and make sure it goes throughout the entirety of the shot. Now find the point in the punching clip where the victim is the highest off the ground after being punched. For us, that's right here. And we can go ahead and hit Command B to blade that at that point. Now moving on to the second part of this clip that we have just bladed off, we're gonna go into our effects and find draw mask. Using draw mask, roughly cut out the subject of the clip so that the victim is no longer seen. Now feather the mask a little bit and add a keyframe to control points so you can scrub through the clip and ensure that nothing is being cut off or revealed by the mask they didn't want to be shown or cut off. Next, duplicate the shot by holding down Option and clicking and dragging above it. We're gonna delete the draw mask on that top clip now. Go to the first frame of this top clip and hit Shift H to create a hole. Now go forward about four or five frames and hit Option right bracket to cut the clip there. Now reapply the draw mask and create a precise cutout of the victim as he's flying through the air. Once you have your cutout, go to the Video Inspector panel and change the X scale to 150% and the Y scale to 90%. This is to more accurately mimic the shape of an object as it's in motion. Now, for reference, before we start animating, find the clip of your victim falling and put it into the timeline, lining it up right at the end of the cutout clip. Now, to animate the cutout, on the first frame of the cutout clip, go to Transform and add a keyframe to Position, and align the cutout in the position where the victim would be just after they're punched. Now, on the last frame, Position the cutout to where it's just before where the victim is in the middle of their fall. And to add a bit of realism to the clip, go to the middle frame and position the cutout up just a little bit to add an arc into their movement because gravity. Now that you have a movement that you like, go back into your effects tab and add directional to the clip. Match the direction of the angle to the motion of the cutout across the frame. And on the first frame, set the amount to 50, add a keyframe and go to the last frame and set the amount to 20. Now that you have the motion all set, go to your final clip of the victim falling and again add draw mask and roughly cut out this side of the victim's frame. If your shot has harsh shadows, do the same steps for the victim's shadow. So far you have a video that looks like this, but something's still missing from it. That's because there's not enough power in the punch and the fall. Remember, speed equals power. Go to the point in the first clip where the subject is starting to punch and add a speed cut using Shift B. We can now speed this up to make it as fast as we want it to be powerful. For this shot, we like it around 130%. And now we can do the same for the landing. Go to the point where the subject fully hits the ground and add another speed cut, Shift B. For this clip, we like it around 120, just slightly slower than the punch. Once you have that to your liking, add an adjustment layer over the top of the clips and add handheld effect to the clip. Unfortunately, Final Cut does not have its own built-in adjustment layer, but we have an awesome free one for you to download with the link in the description below. You can make this as subtle or as shaky as you want, but we feel the handheld really grounds the scene. And now for the most important step, sound effects. Sound is a make or break when it comes to VFX. That's why we use Epidemic Sounds, which has an incredible catalog of awesome sound effects that we use in all of our videos. And oh yeah, they also have a bunch of music that we use for literally everything. If you want a free 30 day trial for awesome sound effects and music, link in the description. Here are the same sound effects that we use in case you want to be as awesome as we are. <laughs> That about wraps up this effect. If you enjoyed this video and want to see our awesome tutorial on laser eyes, watch it now. You can check it out right there. Also, link in the description for awesome merch, and we'll see you filmmakers in the next video. Peace.